over and over because Facebook is going to show you what it thinks you want to see. It'll show you. friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about how do you get the most active users in your targeted groups groups that you're interested in how do you get that list of users we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so groups, right? On Facebook, you can find groups about anything, about any subject, about any person. There's groups everywhere. There's millions of groups. And you can find the groups that your target market is in, right? but how do you find the ones that are the most active in those groups we're going to get into that before we do that though i want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis465 uh, cis465.jsgagnon.com because i'll be sharing my screen and i'll be showing you exactly what i'm talking about so let's get right to it then let's share my screen and to show you what I'm talking about all right you're on Facebook so here's a few things first you know that you can find groups let's just talk about that a little bit so when you're on Facebook you click on the groups link right here me I'm into affiliate marketing online marketing that kind of stuff that's why the groups I've I've got are are mostly those you'll see down here it says groups you've joined right so for you if you're new and you're searching for groups you're just going to put in here something like I don't know say for example you're into network marketing well you can search for network marketing right mar whoops mar marketing right or say in in a specific company right you can search for that company name it'll come up with a whole bunch of groups that have to do with that or say you're looking for a specific person like Eric Worry right Eric Worry is a well-known uh a well-known so you're going to see a whole bunch of things about Eric Worry there's a fan club here there's GoPro Academy there's Next Level Mastermind which lots of these are not even groups by him but because he's a well-known celebrity lots of people will create groups that have to do with him and that's great to find people that are actually interested in that topic same thing with you know Tony Robbins right if I search for Tony Robbins I'm going to see a whole bunch of you know groups about Tony Robbins as well fans and certain aspects of Tony Robbins some of these groups obviously are groups that you'd have to pay to join but but the point is that you can find groups about pretty much anything even like you know gardening right if I like gardening I can go and find a whole bunch of groups about gardening and the thing is that maybe you're not looking for gardeners but your target market might be people that are interested in gardening that so you might look in groups that have to do with gardening right okay so then what you want to do is you want to find so let's say I do affiliate marketing right and for me for so obviously when you see a group that you want to join you would click on the join here and they would ask you for well depending on oh, this one here I guess it's a public group so I'm just in the group right now um if it's a private group let's see public 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 I just want to show you what happens with a private group wow these are all public groups there's a lot of, awful lot of public groups a oh, private group right here so mm, okay this one has 1000 members oh actually I'm in that group uh, let's see for one I, I'm just trying to find one that I'm not in okay this one here has 18,000 so if I click on join here most groups will have questions that you have to answer right so I'm just going to answer these questions um and then too many to list all right and then over here I'll just put my email 
so that's one of the things you'll find that lots of group members lots of group creators ask for your email they end up adding you to their email list and all that stuff you know don't worry about that go ahead and do that because you can always unsubscribe and all that stuff right so don't fear getting spam it doesn't matter you're looking for people that are active in the group so you want to join these groups that your target market is in right so once you're in the groups let's I'll just go to one that I'm in let's say I look at this one here 112,000 members right so if I go to this group I can go in here and I can look at the members right uh people right I go to the people thing and I can see the list the people that are in the group right and I can see members with things in common I can see members near you I can see new to the group you know all these different things so I can actually click on any of these names and I can see their group profile you can see right here this set this says this person has not posted anything so you know you could go through each of these and see who's actually active by just clicking on them and you know what by the way there's a better way so just stay tuned because this obviously is not something anybody would do I don't know who this is obviously that's not a real <laughs> that's not a real pro <laughs> oh look at that there's some you know women or whatever uh, but if I look for somebody like Abdullah here uh, and I look at him he still hasn't posted it. okay so this is the thing you can go through each of these people right and you can see who is active by seeing what they posted right so if I go group contributors there's a good list right here 100 I don't know I guess this is new Facebook has this points thing so I'm just going to go and see what this means but click on James I can see that he's got posts here you can see he's posted things right he's selling boots or something um so the thing is that you can go through Facebook groups you can go find people that are active by looking at the members list to be honest that's an awful complicated and time consuming activity so that's definitely what I do and I'm going to show you later in a, in a minute I'm going to show you exactly how to do it without you having to take all this time but if I go back to the group here and I go to the discussion and I scroll through here's another thing you can do and again that's not what I that's not the secret that I want to talk to you about but let's just talk about the process here so you could go through here you can look at these posts you see how this is a post from November 20 like these these are old posts 2022 so this group actually looks like maybe it's not that active anymore or are these just the most I don't know how Facebook is listing these from 2022 only right he's not showing us any newer posts but I'm guessing maybe these are the admins of the group and they're the only ones that have posted this is probably not a good oh here's another group but it's still 2020 it's not a good example let's go back to the list of groups and go find a better group let's say this one here this one has 50,000 let's go see this one I'm gonna go to the 2022 2020 2020 this is really crazy 2019 all right so that group here does not look that great either let's look at this one <coughs> okay some uh, so this is June 7 okay so these are recent posts all right so two days ago two hours ago um seven hours ago uh 59 minutes ago all right perfect okay so that's what I wanted to show you so you can go in the groups now again that's not what I'm suggesting you do because this is very time consuming but this is kind of what the process should be for you to find the people that are active in the groups right so you're going to look at this Grace Utman here she posted this uh Al Ajibov uh sorry the pronunciation but you know this person here posted this uh Nitesh posted this Pricks Pricks Prinix posted this so these are posts from you know people that are you know at least active in the group right they actually suppose if I look at Nitesh Nitesh here I go to his profile I can see he's posted two posts according to this um so he might be more active than somebody who's posted only one thing but the other thing that you're going to want to do too is you're going to want to go and click on their name on their name here and go to view main profile now that's going to be their personal profile on Facebook where you can see whether they're actually active on Facebook see this this person here 
so he posted June 11 something here and December 27 2022 that's it so he's very uh, either a non-active profile or just brand new so I'm just gonna ignore this one but I want to show you see if we can find somebody else so say I go through and I look at the Alex over here go to his uh, purse per main profile right there right these three little dots sometimes and I go here two hours ago six days ago June 9th June 5th so this person is posting once in a while so they're a little bit more active right so that might be somebody that you could uh, engage with um by the way um yeah let's not get into the details yet but I'm just kind of showing you a little bit here if I look at this Nora here same thing I go to her prof go here I go to here view main profile and I can see whether she's posting on her purse she's not right so this is just some random probably fake account that's the thing you gotta you gotta watch out for these fake accounts right I'm, I'm not saying she is but very likely very possibly if I keep going here uh but she's she actually posted a question here she said I'm interested in becoming an affiliate but need a mentor so she's fishing for people to you know help her right which is very common uh for and I'm not and again I'm not gonna say this this nor is fake or not but it's very common for fake accounts to do that kind of thing uh, so be careful right um here's a Ryan over here Ransom eh that's a nice name Ransom again I go back to here your main profile let's go see if he's got active so June 17th two days ago two days ago two, yeah so he's actually active on his Facebook profile he would be somebody that would be potentially worth having a conversation with or whatever but I don't recommend having conversation with people that you have no connection with yet right I, I don't say send him a message or whatever um I actually do other things than that which I'll get into in a second but <clears throat> this is the thing you're going through the groups the groups where your target makes so you search for groups right that makes sense to you and then you will find uh you will find the people that are in your group so that's your targeted prospects right you know when I say in uh in the in the title of this episode today when I talk about getting the list of the most active users in your targeted groups that's what I'm talking about is you choosing the groups that you want that based on who you're looking for right so this is a totally separate topic but you need to define your avatar you need to find your offer you need to find what you're trying to help what you're trying to do for people and then that lets you know where to search for people for groups right like I said you could be searching gardening tennis uh, hiking you know interests groups to find people that are actually interested <coughs> in stuff that you like to talk about right if your avatar if you decided that your avatar is somebody who's got a newborn then maybe you look for groups on newborn you know newborn uh, health or newborn raising newborns or or sleep uh, you know those trips t uh, tips and tricks or whatever right so you decide who your avatar is and where they are and what they're interested in <coughs> then you find those groups so now once you have those groups you can do what I'm saying here but that is going to be insane so I'm going to talk about a software that I built that does this for you right it goes in the groups you just tell it which groups and it goes in those groups to find the people that are actually active and what it does is it goes and finds the posts that are in the groups it and it, it you know keeps track of the names of the people that are posting also keeps track of the name of the people that are commenting and every time they post every time they comment they get like you know a, a new point or whatever and then they be the most active are the ones that are posting the most the most active are the ones that are commenting the most and that gives and that is where you get it from you get it from this software so if I go back to here just to show you uh what the data looks like once you've had it once you've had it running for a while you're going to get a list of users that are actually active in the groups that you chose because you said which groups you wanted to search for right so for me if I just go to the all contacts here I can actually see the list of groups that I chose 
and 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 if we can let it load up here okay so if I go back to here you see the groups are not no that's not right this is sorry I forgot about that <laughs> when I go to the scrapes I should open this in a new tab let's just open it in a new tab so we have it loaded here but this is the list of users it's it's showing you I got 24,000 names in here right so if I just click on load more it'll just load more more of the of the people that are in this in this list and and the thing is that once you have your list right if you're in the group you choose your groups let's say I go back to groups let's go back to groups right here and I look at the list of groups I'm in right so these are the groups I'm in I can choose to add all these groups into my list of groups that the tool goes for so if I look at this you can see there that my script that I have right now has these groups in it right so these groups are the ones that I chose to search for um because I'm in the field marketer because I'm into you know funnels and that kind of stuff so this is the list of groups that I have and these are the and when we look at here we can see you know rank makers here digital mentors successful female uh digital mentors seven figure affiliates you know these are the these are the groups that these posts were found in and these are the names of the people that it found in the groups right and I can just use that list to build my engagement on Facebook you know because one of the things is that you if you're on Facebook and you just go to the the news feed right and you just engage on posts in the news feed well eventually you're going to get you're just going to see the same stuff over and over in the news feed the or there's not the same stuff but the posts from the same people over and over because Facebook is going to show you what it thinks you want to see it'll show you the stuff that you are engaging on it'll show you the posts from the people that you are engaging with right and that's basically how it works Facebook uh, algorithm is going to be trying to show you stuff that it thinks you're interested in if you engage on stuff from people that you're in that you're engaging with then obviously Facebook's gonna think well he's interested in that stuff she's interested in that stuff so that's what it's gonna show you all the time right so whatever you're interested in you're gonna see more of and that's that's how it works so if you want to control if you want to control what you see if you want to control what you're actually gonna be con um, engaging on you should control the post that you visit the profiles that you visit based on what you're interested in so that's what this tool is for it'll get the most active users and you just choose who you visit by clicking their names here so if I just load I just want to load more just to show you um when I load up the last you know 100 or 200 uh, profile profiles out of 24,000 or whatever it is well this one has 554 um but the full list is like I said the full list is 24,000 right so if I just keep going over here and I keep loading that up I just kind of want to show you if I go to one of these I don't want to visit these profiles again I visited them two days ago three days ago so I want to load more that I want to go and see somebody who I have not visited in in at least six days so that's why this is that's why I'm waiting for this to load up here I just want to load up at least until the five or six days now you can use the queries the search up here like if I go back to here you can actually use uh the filter right here and say I want to get only the people that are at least have six days ago since I visited so I can put six over here click on the filter it'll show me just people that I have visited at least six days ago so see how six seven nine ten right so if I go to Kim here six days ago I click her name and then it pops up summary and I can click her name again it takes me to her Facebook page so I can engage on her posts um and uh and I can engage on those posts and I can comment on them and then after I've done that let's do that right now and uh I'm just going to post interesting I have not done that myself but sounds like great idea right so there you go I'm going to comment on this one and over here is something I actually commented on this I believe 
so anyways I'll just close this I just close this tab it takes me back here and I can just say I commented on one post reacted to one post <coughs> so now when I go back to this list you can see that her <coughs> row here is green because it means that I have visited her in the last 24 hours everybody else here is 10 days ago 11 days ago 12 days ago 13 days that's what these numbers are here and that is the best way for you to find your targeted your most active your the people that are really going to connect with you as you engage on their posts and this is a thing so how do you get them to actually you know connect with you right so I mean if I look through Facebook here right and I just um look at these posts that are in the feed and me by the way my feed is going to be closer to what um is based on the engagements I've been doing right but if you're um if you're just new to Facebook you're just, you're going to see just the posts from your top 10 20 friends right that's all you're going to see here that's all you're going to be able to comment on if you're just using your Facebook if you're just using your um uh the news feed right if you're just using the news feed so as you look at the news feed you can comment on things but Facebook is just going to remember that you're commenting on the stuff that it thinks you want to comment on right so you want to take control of that and then what happens is as people comment as you comment on your on your their things right they're going to comment back on your stuff you see how this morning I commented on Yolanda's post she commented on uh, mentioned me in the comments or replied to me uh, same thing with these Amy Carl oh no that's that's uh, uh, no, everybody but Kim over here and Jordy comment on my photo and the thing that will happen is that these people as I comment on their posts they're going to start to comment on my posts they're going to start to notice me and potentially I might even start being in their news feed right <clears throat> that's just kind of how it is that's how it works so me commenting on their posts they're going to see uh, my face in their notifications so that's what you want you want them to see you in their notifications right and that's really the best way to build your your you know your audience to get fans on your audiences by being somebody who they see in their notifications right in their notifications they're going to see you and then they're going to start to know you because they're going to start to go to your page they're going to start to um uh they're going to start to potentially engage on your post right they're going to like and comment on your post right you want them to do that right you want them to comment on your stuff there you want them to see you in their news feed right and how does that happen it happens because they engage on your stuff they see your comments they you know they um they reply to your uh, your comments on their posts so eventually they see you they go to your page and that kind of stuff is just you know how it works right it's just Facebook's way of building um notification the notifications are something that do let people see you and they let you they you see them right do you see them they see you and then you build your knowledge they build their and you know this is like one of the pictures I posted just now but and to for people to get to know me right what am I about what do I like right that's what you want to do too you want to be posting that kind of stuff so people know what you're about what you like and and that's part of it right so you got to be creating c content regularly that tells people what you're about who you are what you like uh why they should like you right and you got to be engaging on their posts all the time so how do you be engaging on their posts on posts that you know makes sense right you don't want to be randomly engaging on just random, random posts so you want to use something like active group users to get the list now by the way if you want to get active group users you're going to go to a, a activegroupusers.com and uh let's see where is it right over here agu there right there you're going to go to activegroupusers.com you get a free 14-day trial or also if you want there's a demo that's going on that will give you up to 90 days free if you attend that demo and that would be agudemo.com I don't know if I have that link here but if you go to yeah if you go to if you just go to the uh, agu if you just go to activegroupusers.com if you just go to this link right over here where is it if you just go to this link it'll take you to this page right and uh there's also a 
um I guess I don't have it here do I no I don't okay well if you go to the Facebook group if I go here you join the Facebook group there is a link in here that will let, let you join that free demo so right over here uh where is it Doo -doo -doo. that's gonna be somewhere in the group definitely because I've posted it before maybe I need to post it again so that you can uh, actually but this is um let's just post it right here watch replay and get free 90 days of software at whoops <coughs> software at agudemo.com <coughs> there you go post this well let's just put that there you go let's do that yes perfect <coughs> so just go there and go get your agu demo just click on this take back your time you're going to actually oh uh you're actually going to end up on this page which is the registration page to get that free 90 days right 90 days of software if you attend the webinar and uh, just put it just click on this and enter your name and email and that's pretty much it that's all you got to do to get your free 90 days if you want to use it for 90 days at least right to learn how to use it to get the benefit out of it and to get the list of users that are in your target market right not just not my target market your target market whoever it is that is interested in your stuff or that you're interested in working with right because that's that's really the secret you don't want to sell to everybody you want to sell to people that you want to work with and that's that's really the secret is sell to people that are actually you're actually interested in selling to that you're actually interested in working with like this list of people is insane and the tool will keep track of who is a cold prospect a warm prospect a hot prospect also as you can see right here you can also say uh, their status whether they're active whether they you send them a message replied some of them are you know contacted or that they trialed software or they actually bought something right whatever your your process that you want to follow <coughs> is right so you're going to kind of, kind of do that you can even search for those right if I want over here I can search for the temperature or the status I can search for only the hot leads I can search for only the people that I contacted right that's the power of using software to track things because it will keep you on track it'll let you like me right over here you can see that I'm actually visiting 20 people a day approximately right and I'm reacting and commenting on you know 19 20 posts a day and that's all I do that, that takes me like 30 minutes that's that's it I don't spend more time on Facebook than I have to and you shouldn't either you should just focus take back your time from Facebook right take back your time be doing only what you need to be doing and don't waste time all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.